Welcome to the second China Egg Conference in Sumadian. Today we are in Genan Loge. We are visiting a chicken farm today. Later on, we will be interviewing Mr. Wang. He will give a short introduction about his chicken farm and the reasons why he chose for the Genan Dusan manure drying technology. But first, I will give a short introduction about myself and about our company in China. I'm Ruben Alten. I'm responsible for our company, Genan Dusan Biomass Technology. And I came to China in 2017. In 2017, we also established Genan Dusan Biomass Technology. Genan Dusan Biomass Technology is a joint venture company between Genan Jinfeng Poultry Equipment, a company who focuses on the development and production of poultry equipment, and Dorset Green Machines, a company established in 1984 focusing on the development and production of machines to dry biomass products. All kinds of biomass products, which are often wet seen as a waste product, will be processed and dried, and after that they are seen as a valuable product. Today we are in a chicken farm. Here in this chicken farm, we process the wet chicken manure into dry trick chicken manure. After drying, this dry chicken manure can be used as a fertilizer. I will be explaining more about this drying process later on. Yangwangshi 我们希望，thank 不用炒腐肉的心 The second question is Why did you choose for Henan Dusan Biomass Technologies Manure Dryer? 我们现在河南多塞多少从一下两点考虑一个是多塞的技术比较成熟质量比较好第二个方面就是油质的服务使人放心 Our dryer is placed behind the chicken house. This allows us to use the chicken house ventilation to dry the chicken manure. In this farm, the manure of two buildings is processed on one dryer. Each building has 40,000 layers, so in total, 80,000 layers. Our dryer is built modular, which means we can change the length, change the height, according to the farm requirements. For this farm, 80,000 layers, we use 27 meter length and four drying floors. But we can also change it to six drying floors with a maximum of 42 meter length. Our dryer works completely automatically. Our control cabinet is connected to the manure belts inside the chicken house, as well as our ventilation is also connected to the ventilation of the chicken house. Two times a day, our dryer will start. At this time, our control cabinet sends a signal to the manure belts inside the chicken house. The manure belts inside the chicken house will start. We have installed several manure belts to transport the wet manure towards our dryer. On the dryer, you see a dosing mixer. 
this dosing mixer moves from left to right slowly, distributing the product evenly on the dryer. The drying belt itself will move slowly. After the top floor is filled, the process will stop automatically. During the filling process, the manure from the previous day will fall down. After the manure has been onto the dryer 48 hours, it will be discharged into a truck. The manure will be discharged to the dryer using manure belts. After 48 hours, when the manure is dry, it comes out of the machine using augers. A very important thing is that some of the dry manure is brought back to our dryer with a system we call bag mixing. This bag mixing system mixes wet and dry manure together to prevent it will stick to our manure plates. This dryer has two drying belts. Each belt has two drying floors. So in total, this dryer has four drying floors. In the bottom of the dryer, there's a scraping system. This scraping system collects all the manure that during the drying process, or during that the belt moves, falls through the manure plates, this dry product collected will be transported to the front side of the dryer. At the end of each drying belt, there's an agitator. This agitator will break the product to speed up the drying process. After the manure has been processed by our machine, they put it into small bags. The dry chicken manure will be sold as a very good fertilizer, especially used for vegetables and fruits. This fertilizer here can be sold anywhere between 450 RMB to 800 RMB per ton.